Hi, my name's Clive and welcome to Discus Fish at Waratah Lodge. Hi, in this video today we're going to um, talk about this uh, cleaning pad tool. Um, if you recognise it um, and you've unfortunately bought one, I don't know what make it is. Um, I got it from a local shop. It comes with a flat pad, it comes with a corner tool and it comes with a blade and you can just simply um, unclip it uh, from whichever tool you've got on there. Um, unfortunately um, I would say this thing as it is is totally useless to anybody. It's fine for a couple of weeks and then when you're in the tank with it cleaning um, the head just seems to twist off and fall off in the tank. So this is just a quick little tip for you. If you bought one of these, um, it'll turn something that's pretty useless into something that's actually very, very good. The pad on it is um, quite nice. Um, now all the only tools you're gonna need for this is um, a Stanley blade, um, probably a battery drill, something like that, with about a three millimeter drill. Um, and that's and, and a pair of wire cutters. And you're gonna need one um, small cable tie. Uh, that's it really. Now it's a bit a bit dark in here. I'm going to put a light on this so you can actually see where I actually drilled it. Um, hopefully now you can see there's the um, fitting in the middle and all you do is put about a better um, three millimeter hole on both sides of that um, piece there. Uh, hopefully you can see that. I'll put that in like that and you can no doubt see the two holes in it. So drill two holes in there and then on the other side where the holes come through cut a slot in between on the pad uh, with a Stanley knife so it gives the um, we're going to put it we're going to put a, um, uh, one of these cable ties in there you don't want the cable tie on the surface of the pad so by cutting from hole to hole a small slot you can allow the cable tie to sink back down into it um, now in the end of this thing um, once again um, hopefully you can see this there you go um, you put one hole in there in the end another three mil hole like that okay now what we're going to do is we've drilled a hole in there we have put two holes in there we're going to thread the um, cable tie through there first of all like that that then goes down through the first hole in the pad And I'm going to hold the light again there so you can actually see what I've done. I've threaded the cable tie through there. And then all you need to do is to... Um, oh, sorry, I've just pulled it out. Uh, all you need to do then is to do the cable tie up nice and tight. I'll quickly put this back. sorry about that there we go through the pad through there put it back on itself in the cable tie P click the um, handle into place on the holder and then pull the there you go you can see the cable tie there so basically we've just cable tied the handle nice and tightly to the base that in fact and then snip off the surplus with a pair of cutters and you'll find now that will stay on in the tank and it's turned something pretty useless into something that's actually quite good and as you can see hopefully there the um, cable tie is actually buried down below the surface of the pad so very short video but um, if you bought one rather than chuck it away um, you may as well use the pad as regards the corner and the uh, blade you can't get spare blades for it anyway the corner is pretty useless but the pad itself as I said is quite a usable serviceable tool so thanks for watching hope you found something useful there and see you next time don't forget to subscribe